What do you want from me? Whatever it is, I'll do it. You can let her go. I want you to never hurt anybody again. This isn't a kidnapping, Lee. Then what is it? A rescue. Better not fucking hurt her. I swear. Don't worry, pal. We'll get her back. We ain't flush with time. But... Fuck. We got less than I thought. I'll be ready to kill anything that tries to get in. You got it by yourself? Damn right. You just trying to find another way out of here. Got it. And Lee, I'm glad I didn't let you come alone. I was kind of hoping they dug some secret tunnels or something. This isn't gonna help. Just some surgical supplies. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. found your goddamn secret, you dumb son of a bitch! You were bitten?! Fuck, man! When were you... God! It happened before. Sorry I didn't say anything. You fucking better be! What are you doing keeping that to yourself?! I don't know. Well, look, I'm pissed. But, well, I'm glad you're not alone. I was, uh, gonna try to do a little surgery before you woke up. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a hell of a risk, but... Hey, you never know. Fuck it. Cut it off. You sure? Yeah. <sighs> Don't get too high, okay? Just get through the thinnest part you think is best.
This ain't gonna be fun. Tell me about it. Fast would be good. Look, you're <laughs> ah! Ah! Keep still. Just try to ah! keep still. Ah! Stop! <laughs> Little too late for that, pal. Holy hell. We thought maybe we'd lost you. You've been out a while, man. Oh, what the hell did we do? Oh. Uh. Jesus, this hurts so goddamn bad. I hope it helps. You gonna be able to get going? I think we gotta move. Good. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on anyone. You are some kind of something. Jeez. Oh, not exactly a handicap ramp. No. No, it's not. We're gonna have to climb as quiet as we can. Can you handle that? going. Remember when Savannah was empty? Oh, way back then. Like six hours ago? A lot's happened in the meantime. You wanna talk about what happened back there? You lost a lot of blood. If you find yourself getting winded or worse, you gotta let me know. And it wasn't my favorite hand anyway. Well, you haven't lost your spirit. Seriously, though. Don't treat me any different. I got one goal, you hear me? Yeah, pal. I do. Clementine's out there somewhere. Gobbled up in all of that. We'll get to her, Lee. We'll do whatever we have to. I think step one is to pick a direction. Back towards the mansion is my vote. I'm all turned around, though. It's between us and River Street, so we can stop if we have to. Retrace our steps, maybe. And they get going towards the hotel where Clem's parents were staying. Okay. We get down and we find a little girl out there. Right, pal? Now, let's get our bearings.
a bell tower. Like the ones Molly used to draw the walkers around the city. No way. It's higher than this room, for starters. Hospital must have run out of doctors. That looks like Crawford Square over there. Fuck that place. Did fix up our boat, though. We get Clementine and get right back. Make sure she wears her life jacket, okay? Something tells me she's not gonna want to. Here's a way down. Yeah, if half the dead population of Georgia wouldn't wander in the streets down there. That looks like Crawford Square over there. She walked away from whatever accident happened. Well, that doesn't really mean much. <laughs> Whoa, you need some help with that? I got it. Damn it. tower yeah could buy us some time draw as many as we can this way get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion you think you should be the one to go let me do it no if we have to decide who takes a risk like this it should be the guy who's got the least to lose what's the worst that could happen I get bitten again if anything happens to me, you're the only chance she's got. Be careful. Why the hell are we letting the one-armed guy do all the high-risk maneuvers? Because the one-armed guy insists. Now shut up about it. That thing looks a little rickety. Maybe keep that shit to yourself next time? Yep. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No kidding. Try to find another way out. Trick, pal. Now get back here. I think I have to jump. There's no way back. You can make it. It ain't that far. It's not that far. Just a little hop.
good goddamn leap, pal. Let's get the hell off this roof. What the fuck? Vernon, his entire crew, they took the boat. No fucking way! They jumped us. They didn't have Clementine. They took the boat and locked us in here. The invalids? Their actions uh, contradict your characterization, but yeah, the invalids. They fucked us! He's right. They're not invalids. They're just people. People who have been dealing with shitty situations even longer than we have. No wonder they got the jump on us. I don't give a fuck if their Make-A-Wish was a fucking boat ride! When I find them, I'm gonna rip their throats out! We'll never find them. I can't believe they did this to us. It's sick! It really is! They use your goddamn sympathy for sick folks, and then stab us right in the back! They didn't use shit. They did what anybody would have done. They've been living like ghosts forever, and they were fed up. That's it. What the hell happened to you? Cut it off. Seriously? I was bitten. What? It was an accident. A small, stupid thing. But yeah. Before we split up? Yes. You fucker! God, we would have gone with you! I lived through it, which is a start. And, well, uh, I thought it might save my life. I was lucky to get bit down on the wrist, far from anything important. But who knows? Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. I don't want to go back out there again. Then don't. Go your own way. You're every man for himself until you and your boyfriend actually need something. You wouldn't have had a boat to lose without us. So shove it, okay? Krista's right. The boat was a pipe dream. We still go after Clem, and then we get out of Savannah and rethink our entire plan. Rethink? How about we just think for once? That's what I'm saying we do. Calm down, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. What do you think, Lee? What do we do now, without a boat? Well, I know you two are just gonna look out for number one. And number two, you know, yourselves. Get to the countryside. We dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Yeah, we gotta get out into some open spaces. You know that's what I'm for. This is bullshit. You might not even be around, so... With all due respect, Lee, his opinion doesn't carry a lot of weight. Hey, it's still his little girl out there. She's number one. That's the end of that, okay? But what about... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get upstairs! Make sure nobody's here! On it. Kenny! Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Omid! What is it? Front doors! <laughs> Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? 
This is a big, sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> Get upstairs! Go! Guys, help me with this! Opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. You all know where to aim. Get ready. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay, let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right, we gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent III, industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great, and you're warm. Hey, don't stop. I'm okay. I'm wearing pants. No. What did that mean? She's at the hotel, where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our... urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, dammit! We're trapped in here! Do you think that worked? I... I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. Okay, what do you want to do? Just talk about it. Does that conversation end with me getting something dropped on my head? Now, hey! Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, and not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you, because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. I'm sorry, okay? 
Fuck, we can't do this! We're gonna have to! Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. It wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. I can't believe you didn't tell us you were bitten. I didn't want to scare anyone. Because you were scared yourself. I'd been bitten by a walker. You thought we'd turn on you. Sure. You were scared. I don't blame you. I would be scared shitless. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. And what do you think the odds are? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean it. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, and why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off! What good is it to plan around that work? What good is it for you to give up? I haven't given up. Find her family, okay? Somewhere she'll be safe. Don't do this. I want you to hear me. I hear you, but I'm not having this conversation. Krista. We could look after her. As long as she has a family. You hear me? Yeah. Of course. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, and you can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. That, uh, feeling any better? Still feels pretty recently chopped. So no, Kenny feels about as, uh, good as you'd expect. I mean, do you think it worked? Did it, did it help at all? I feel like a man who got bitten. So, take that for what it's worth. Heard you guys giving Lee some hell about hiding his bike. Yeah, of course. I'd have done the same thing. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. You've lost more than anyone. It'll be alright, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. This guy tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, who was... Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to... make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. And I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. It's all water under the bridge. All we can do is move forward. Well... Cheers.
I'm through! No walkers. Things are looking up. Everyone keep a goddamn eye out. This place seems pretty sealed off. Well... People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. It's sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. Nothing other than personal items in here. Looks like we can stay off the streets all the way to River Street if we're careful. Let's go. Let's keep going. Be careful up here. They haven't learned to climb yet, right? It's good to be moving. We can't stop. Damn right we can't. We're not too far. How we finding this guy? We we'll just get to the hotel and stick together. And use our heads. You got that walkie-talkie? Yeah, of course I do. You might want to give him a call and tell him we're coming for him. Yeah, right. Careful cross here. River Street's just up ahead. Nope. A maw of darkness full of walkers? Fuck that shit. Let's get off of here now. Yep. That. Let's keep going, you bunch of lollygaggers. Uh. Oh, fuck. <sighs> well... I'm so sorry. our lifeline to her. But we can find this guy without it. What if we don't? We need every clue that comes out of it. Lee's right. 
I am so fucking sorry. It's fine. You just need to figure out who's going down there. No, we don't. Krista! Jesus fucking Christ! I got it. Get me up. Fuck. We can't reach. Find something. Fast. Past would be good. Keep a fucking eye on her. Dirty. I am jumping! Onto this, we'll pull you up. Good, thanks. <gasps> ah! Up here, baby. Let's go. Jump. <sighs> Me and my fucking mouth. God, what are you doing? Uh, get her, Ken. Can't you said all that shit and not do something now. Come on, reach. <sighs> I got you, hun. Save her. Go, go. Do you fucking hear me? Kenny! You gotta run, man! Go! We'll find a way to get you! Get the fuck off me! We're going in after him! We can't! We have to! Lee! Where... where'd he go? Maybe... maybe he ran. Maybe, maybe the man's all right. Maybe he'll find us. What if he doesn't? He went down there for you. I know he did. He... Marshall's hotel is around the corner of the block. Are you okay? Do you want to talk? Fuck up to Claire. There's Kenny to answer for, too. Keep a clear head, Lee. We wouldn't be out here. We'd all been together to defend against Vernon. And we'd be out on the water. Everyone would be alive. This is a shitty time. I want to make sure we're clear before we go forward. What is it? Now with Kenny, gone, means Omid and I have to stay safe. For her. Let's take care of her as long as you can. Then find her a family that's capable. We are capable. You and your girlfriend might want different things. That's enough. Fine, but you heard me. 
She'll be fine, Lee. We have to cross here. Well, at least it doesn't look like a death trap. Who's going first? You're the lightest. He's got a busted leg, and you're walking for two. I'm obviously not doing so hard. Decision doesn't make itself. You two should go across first. You're the lightest, Omid. I'll follow right after you. I meant what I said about Clem. I didn't doubt it. I appreciate it. How are you feeling? Good enough. Brista, you next. Going for it! Going for it? What does that mean? It means I'm already bitten. I just have to push my way through. What the fuck? Let's meet outside of town, by the train! Are you nuts? It's the only way! Do you hear me? Yeah, by the train! Jesus, we'll be there!
I got us adjoining rooms. Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Shh. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. I don't have anything on me. Really? You got all the way here without any weapons? Lost them. I don't believe you. Seriously? You don't believe me? Go ahead. Search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. Everything was just out there for the taking. We were starving. Do for the you taking? Do you know what you took from me? I don't care. Fuck you. You have no idea. <sighs> have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her. So bad. Then you took all of our things. You robbed us. I could have earned her trust back, Lee, but not after that. It's not my fault. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You killed a man with a pitchfork right in front of a little girl. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. The sweatshirt she's wearing was my boy's. You stole that from us. I fucked up. Yes, you did. How could you know all this?
You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm going to hurt you so bad. Just give me Clementine back. I'd rather kill her myself. Because that's what will happen if she goes with you. After I heard Clementine on the radio and realized who you folks were, I came after you purely for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad to. I wish you wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clem, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. Afraid. I was. You didn't act like it. I know. I am now. It's okay. Which way out? Through there. It... it 
didn't bite you. Yeah, I know it. Must have. You're covered in all that gross stuff. I had to get through a bunch of them to get here. That's how we'll get out of Savannah. Sure. There. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you safe. Don't be dead. Please, no. Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. It's a good thing. Lee, they're dead. They really are. But you know, you're gonna be sad for a very long time. But you know what happened to them. Get you somewhere safe, then just let it all out. Okay. Okay. Clementine, we have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, 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 that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Hold on three. One. Two. Three! <laughs> See? 
them in time. Honey? My arm is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. There's no time to be upset. Okay. I'll try not to be. I... I think there might be a way out over there. Good. Good girl. Let's go. I might be a little slow. I'll help you. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. Thought I was helping by bringing you in here. Oh, you did, honey. It's awful out there. But they would have chewed me up. It was hard. I don't know how you did it. But you did good. Okay? Keep going. We're almost there. Get up, Lee! The door is right here! Uh, I can't. You have to! Them, I can't move. This is it for me here. Please, please, try to get up! I can't. You don't have much time. You gotta do something. Fast. Like what? You're gonna have to make sure I don't turn. You won't, though. Them. I will. You know what you have to do. No. I can't. There's no way. We'll figure it all out. Don't worry. We'll get you in there. Don't worry. You are doing good. Just start by getting that door open. It's locked. It's uh. no big deal. It's just a glass window. Uh. Ow! Not with your hand. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shatter that window, so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. He isn't. You're smarter than all of them. Don't be scared of the walker. You'll be fine. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. Reach in to the lock. Then open it. He's, he's trapped. This will be easy then. He's got keys. Probably to that door. And everything you'll need. Ah, 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 ah!
You're too really good. There's keys and a gun. You're gonna need both of those. There are handcuffs on the ground. Get them. Okay, me. Killing them's not easy, but you know what to do. I do. Put the handcuffs on me. Attach me to this. What? Why? No matter what happens, you're safe then. Uh, I don't know. Just do it, sweetie. Make sure they're tight. I don't... I don't want to do this. You have to. It'll keep you safe. You have to deal with it. From him. And the keys. And then the gun. The keys and the gun. Just don't be afraid. If anything gets dangerous, you're faster than he is. What should I get first? You're so close. Just get them both. Uh, I'll try. Get him! Get him! Watch out! I did it. I got him. Great, Clem. Good job. Hey. You're strong, Clem. You... You can do anything. But... I'm little. Doesn't mean nothing. You go see bad stuff, but... It's okay. My parents... It's so horrible. I, I can't imagine, Sweet Pea. And now... You... Please... Please don't be one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Megan, first days we met. Do you remember? Yeah, I do. When I went out to rescue that boy, Glenn, we met a girl. She'd been bitten too. All she wanted was to not come back as a walker. Lee? And I remember how hard it was to do that. But I'm glad I did. You don't want to see me like one of them. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can. Find Omid and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? Yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. <laughs> and Clem. Keep that hair short. I 
I will. I'll cut it myself. Great. Good. And also... What? What is it? No, don't worry. All right. I'll miss you. Me too.